Hello and welcome to part 3 of the 1.1 update, Features and Tweaks. There's some even more interesting stuff to go through on this one, so let's check it out. To begin with, I'm going to go back to something I showed in one of the last update videos, and that is the wheel sounds. There have been some minor tweaks to them, for example increasing the volume on them, and I don't think I really showed them well enough in the last update video, so here we go. You can hear that they're going to be different on different types of terrains, they make scraping sounds, they make the sound as if they're kicking up rocks, and they sound really cool when they're drifting as well. And of course, these sounds all adapt to different terrains and wheel speeds. I actually had so much fun recording the wheel sounds that I spent 15 minutes recording footage for it. And of course it would be unreasonable for me to put 15 minutes of just driving around in this video. So if you want to see the uncut version of me driving around for 15 minutes, tell me in the comments and I'll put it on the second channel. Anyway, let's talk about another new feature. This new feature is known as Crew Transfer. Simply put, crew transfer allows you to transfer one crew member, such as a druid or tourist, to another capsule without having to EVA them. So for example, if you have two craft docked together, you can just crew transfer them across and they don't have to EVA to get to the other command pod. This also works within the same craft, for example here I have two space habitats, and I can easily transfer crew from one to the other without having to EVA. Something else I would also point out, which is minor but really cool, is that the EVA button also now has a new little sprite, and also the crew transfer button has its own image to match. Next we have a really cool feature added to cameras and that is if you look at bright lights for example the sun or in an engine there will be dirt effects which light up on the camera. This looks really nice and it adds a bit more realism to things and it's honestly one of my favourite little features added in this update. An equally very cool thing we got in this update is ray casting for Vizzy. This allows for lots of cool things, such as what you can see here. And if you don't know what ray casting is, it's very simple. A lot of gun games use them, where basically they shoot a ray out from the gun when you click the trigger, and if an enemy is in that ray, they will get shot, obviously. It's somewhat similar to that for Vizzy. Of course, I'm not very good at explaining it, but there you go. And finally, I'm going to talk about six new test contracts added to the new hybrid mode. These are three rescue missions, two space station building missions, and one tourist mission. You can access these missions when you start up a new hybrid world. And with the hybrid mode features, they're actually quite fun to do, because you can obviously use your own rockets built in sandbox mode. And if you're really struggling, you can also use the things like teleporting and set speed to help you get the missions complete. This makes them quite fun to do. But here's some footage of me doing the first few contracts. First of all, we have the first rescue mission contract. Next up is the tourist contract where you have to take a tourist up to a suborbital flight trajectory. And finally, the last mission is making a space station using prefab space station parts. So make sure you go and try them out, and that's it for this video. As always, massive thanks to our Patreons for helping us afford the licenses to the music you can hear in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.